गुड मॉर्निंग एंड वेलकम टू द सनराइज विद जीजस फ्रेंड्स सम ऑफ यू कुड बी टीचर्स और डॉक्टर्स और इंजीनियर्स सम ऑफ यू कुड बी पेरेंट्स ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स सम ऑफ यू कुड बी सन्स एंड डॉटर्स एंड वेरी मेनी ऑफ यू कुड बी लीडर्स इन योर ओन राइट सो डज दिस गिव यू अ लाइसेंस टू प्रीच वेल फ्रेंड्स there is one thing we know for sure every one of us have an obligation to proclaim the gospel of christ while we cannot force someone to hear the message that we preach we must never underestimate the power of planting a seed friends very many of us could be fighting shy to speak about jesus to share the good news of jesus but saint paul and we read this in the first letter to the corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 he says woe to me if i do not preach the gospel of christ because an obligation has been placed to me so he says that i am cursed if i do not spread the light of christ friends on the other hand there may be very many of us who would think of saying woe to me if i preach because today if we speak about jesus we may have very many people ridiculing us more difficult it is when people would point a finger to us and ask us do you practice what you preach well imagine if only the perfect should preach would there be any preaching at all but in fact scripture also warns us and you read this in the letter of st james chapter 3 verse 1 and he says not all of you should be teachers because if you are teaching the gospel you should know that you will be judged more strictly and this is really true if i am a priest or a nun or a preacher a person who's carrying in my identity the name of christ and if i live in a manner that is against the gospel definitely i will be judged more strictly by god because every one of us we are signposts and we could either lead people to god or we can lead people away from god and we must choose where we are leading the people god brings to us i came across this beautiful quote and it says be the reason why someone loves jesus and not the reason why someone hates christians friends every one of us we have an ultimate goal in everything we do in every word we speak and that is to bear the light of the gospel and to share the light of the gospel while it is true that saint paul and saint peter were apostles who were called in a very special way to preach the word of god and today in the church we have priests and missionaries lay people who have been called and who are dedicated their lives to preaching the good news and yet we also know the kingdom of god was proclaimed by every one who experienced jesus in the gospel of mark chapter 5 we see jesus crossing stormy seas and coming to a jerusalem territory where he sets free a man who is possessed by demons a legion of demons and he is known as the jerusalem demoniac and once he is freed from the powers of evil he comes and tells jesus let me also join you but jesus tells him go back to your home and proclaim all that god has done for you and the next verse in the bible tells us that he went back not just to his home but to the decapolis the 10 cities and declares what jesus has done for him and everyone comes to believe so much so that in this very place where jesus was asked to leave 
In the next chapter, we read in Mark chapter 6, that when Jesus comes back to this territory, now there is a huge crowd of people and they go back and bring all those who are sick to him. And how did this great change happen in that one territory? Because of this one man who was set free from the power of evil, who did not stop proclaiming what God has done. This is the obligation that you and I have. Every one of us, we have been given a tongue, we have been given talents, we have been given this life to declare that the kingdom of God is at hand. We need to walk every street, go down every home and reach the ends of the earth with this one message that God is in charge of your life. It is not the politicians, it is not your enemies, it is not anyone else on this earth who has power or money. But God is taking charge in order to bring love and righteousness and peace and joy. We need to guide people to show them that it is safe to change our tracks, to turn aside from the ways of this world and to turn to God and follow His ways. We need to remind others of the great promise every one of us have. If we believe in the gospel, if we believe in Jesus, we will receive the Holy Spirit. Friends, think about this. For every one of us on our journey, we have been led to Jesus. Yes, very powerfully by certain preachers. Very many of us may have attended a retreat. We would have heard a beautiful preaching, a powerful preaching of the gospel. And we decided to live for Jesus. But then we also know that along the way, God brought to us so many different persons, priests and missionaries who gave up everything in life to go to distant lands and to convey the love of Christ to the poorest of the poor. We have met young men and women who surrendered the wealth of this world to give their lives in service to God. We have met parents who would teach their children the rudiments of faith in their own simple way through words and songs and prayers and little directions. We have met those who have experienced the mighty healing touch of God. And through every one of these persons who have met Jesus, we have received the power and the strength to walk in faith. And here is why today you and I must know we have a light that we must hold aloft. We must have a word of hope that we should share. Yes, our first Pope, St. Peter tells us, revere Christ in your heart. Be ready to give an explanation to anyone who asks you for a reason for your hope, but do it with gentleness and reverence, keeping your conscience clear so that when you are maligned, when those who defame your good conduct in Christ may themselves be put to shame. So here St. Peter tells us the first thing we need to do is revere Christ in our hearts. Allow God to be the treasure of your life. And secondly, he says, be prepared to give an explanation to those who want to know the reason of your hope. And finally, he says, live in such a way that your conscience will be clear. Friends, you and I have much hope to receive from that Gerasene witness. He who was once the Gerasene demoniac and becomes a Gerasene witness, he teaches us, you do not have to be perfected in order to preach. But today, what is that truth that you know? What is that hope that you hold in your heart? Maybe it's only a tiny morsel of faith. Share that faith that you have and you will yourself be enriched. We had a wonderful preacher in the Divine Retreat Center, an advocate named A.M. Matthew. I remember once asking him, how is it that he has been preaching for so many years? And he told me, he said, I preach in order to live the gospel, reminding me that the word of God is a double-edged sword. He said, when I preach to others, when I share the hope, that word that I share to others 
convicts me and keeps me walking in the faith friends speak jesus in order to live jesus and live jesus in order to speak jesus let us every one of us be bearers of the good news knowing that there is ultimate power in that seed i'm reminding you once again not everyone would be ready to receive the message of the gospel as you preach it but never underestimate the power of planting the seed of god's word i want to show you first from scripture that this this command to evangelize take the gospel to all nations is not optional all the recent holy fathers right from pope paul the 6th he, he has written an a, a, amazing encyclical and what is that encyclical all about evangelization the holy father realized as catholics as a church we have forgotten the mission jesus entrusted the church with and so he's he's saying to us wake up wake up he says you know be faithful to the mission live out the mission i give you a simple example okay you see it says in in, in matthew chapter 9 matthew chapter 9 36 to 38 matthew chapter 9 36 to 38 Jesus looked upon the vast multitude and the scripture says he was filled with compassion because they were like sheep without shepherds Jesus saw the the anxieties the fears the sadness the sickness the the troubles that were weighing upon humanity that's why crowds would come to him when i talk of missionaries okay there are two levels of missionaries so i'm just saying it this way on one level some are called to the priesthood full time consecrate your life to god some are called to the religious life some lay people are called to leave their jobs and serve god entirely so in one sense we are we are living our lives fully to reap the harvest but you also are equally called to reap the harvest so just before before jesus ascends to the heaven in to the heavens in 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 matthew's gospel he says uh, from in matthew chapter 28 16 to 20 Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them and when they saw him they worshiped him and some doubted he says and Jesus came and said to them all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and lo I am with you always to the close of the age. Now this is the mission entrusted to every baptized Christian, every baptized Catholic. This is not just for priests, not just for nuns, or not just for a few lay leaders. By our baptism, that's what all these holy fathers, Pope, Pope Paul the Sixth, Pope uh, Saint John Paul the Second. Uh, pope benedict the 16th and even our present pope he's shouting out he's saying come on wake up go he says go out in the streets reach out to the poor bring jesus evangelize 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 this mission has come alive in his heart has come alive in his heart and he's as as the chief shepherd of the church he's encouraging you and me to to evangelize that's why you must pick up his 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 encyclical uh, evangelium gaudium if he's written a whole encyclical evangelium see we catholics we don't know we don't read these encyclicals so we don't know what what the church is teaching what the holy father is saying to us in evangelium gaudium i'll just read one excerpt from it just one little excerpt from it and see what pope francis is saying in virtue of their baptism in the virtue of my baptism your baptism all the members of the people of god have become missionary disciples every baptized catholic by virtue of his baptism has become a missionary disciple he says next all the baptized whatever their position in the church or their level of instruction in the faith are agents of evangelization every member of the church whatever your position is whatever your vocation is wherever god has placed you you are an agent of evangelization
Jesus, for your word says in Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 and 16 says, I know your works. You are neither cold nor hot. And you say, I wish that you were either cold or hot. But because you are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot I am about to spit you out of my mouth Lord your word says you are about to spit us out of your mouth no Lord if we cry out with love in our hearts to you if we cry out to your name Jesus if we cry out to you and say, oh merciful God, let your mercy fall on us, for we need you, Lord. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Oh, Jesus. Every hour, Every hour I Lord. need you. My one defense. defense. My righteousness. My righteousness. Jesus, oh God, we find how only I in need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Only you we need, Lord. Every hour. Every hour, I need every day, every moment we need my you, God. One defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. For your verse says in 17, Revelation chapter 3, verse 17. For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, 
I need nothing. And verse further on tells us, you do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind and naked. Yes, Lord, we are pitiable, wretched, blind and naked, Lord, in your sight. We need you, Lord. We need you more than ever. We've gone our own ways. We stumble on the worldly ways, God. We found solace there for a while. But Lord, it made us wretched. It made us naked in your sight. We are so pitiable, Lord, in your presence that we need you. We come to you repenting. Lord, we need you. Oh, we need you, Lord. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Yes, Lord, Master. Every hour. Every I moment, need Lord. You. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. Yes, Lord, I need you. To teach my songs to rise to you. Because I need you, God. Teach me. When temptations come my way. When I cannot stand. I'll fall on you Jesus my hope and stay You're my only hope and stay Lord, Lord. I need you The oh, grace is coming Lord in abundance When we cry out to you God I need When we cry out to you That we need you My defense My righteousness Oh God, how I need When we cry out to you, you give us in abundance, Lord. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour, I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need Yes, Master. As you tell us furthermore in verse 18 Therefore I counsel you to buy from me gold refined by fire And white robes to clothe you To keep the shame of your nakedness From being seen and salve to anoint your eyes so that you may see I reprove and discipline those whom I love be earnest therefore and repent listen I am standing at the door of your heart knocking if you hear me open and I will come and I will eat with you and you with me and Jesus you say in verse 21 to the one who conquers I will give a place with me on my throne just I myself conquered and sat down with my father on his throne let anyone who has ears listen to what the Spirit is telling each one of us. Lord, we need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour I need you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you Lord, I need you Oh, I need you Every hour I need you My one defense My righteousness Oh, 
Jesus. Oh God, how I need you. Yes, Lord, how we need you, Lord. So we'll sing with love in our heart. When sin runs deep, your grace is more. To teach my song to rise to yes, Lord. you. When temptations come my way, when I cannot stand, I fall on you. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, you're my hope and stay. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need oh, you, Lord. I need you. Every, Every hour, hour I need you. you. My one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. My brothers, my sisters, raise your hands. Call on to God my and tell Him, defense, You are my, the, my only defense, my only righteousness, oh God, my only holiness. Hide us in the shelter of your wings, where we find solace, where we find grace in abundance, where we find mercy and forgiveness and love. Not for ourselves, but in turn to give it to our brothers, our sisters, everyone who we meet. Forgiveness must be the priority in our lives. God, give us the grace that we live up to this priority that is concerning you. Bless us, Lord, with your love and give us the grace in your blessing. Come and worship royal As we receive the blessings, my brothers, my sisters, kneel down. Come Join your hands and, and let the Lord bless each one of us. Holy nation Worship Jesus, our Redeemer. He is precious, King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah 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 Oh sacrament was holy Oh sacrament divine All praise and all Thanksgiving be every moment high. Oh, sacrament most holy. Oh, sacrament divine. All praise and all 
of the Divine Retreat Center needs your support as they continue in their commitment to preach the good news of Jesus through the weekly retreats, the daily online and television ministry, through the service of 3,000 disadvantaged persons, the mentally challenged, the aged, the destitute women, the sick and abandoned and economically disadvantaged families. If you are inspired to share in this ministry through the sacred service of almsgiving, we invite you to send your love offering to Divine Charitable Trust CD account number 0402231010 0014 HDFC Bank Chalakudi Branch IFSC Code HDFC 0000402 and email the details to Divine Retreat Center at gmail.com. 